that's a pen. Look. All right. Got a shot. We got some bearings and stuff here, so we can use these bigger ones here. Cut that off like that. Yeah, that. That'll help center that up. This? That'll actually work really well. Like this. Then hang them up. That. Kind of like that. Then put one like. And put a thing. I guess we could. I don't know if that'll work the best though. Like this. So Ethan wanted to go inside, but we'll continue on. Cherish is gonna help me. We're gonna take, these are gonna be the boards that uh, hold up the water wheel. Take our bearing and uh, with the router, router out a uh, profile for the bearing to sit in, as well as enough, a hole straight through for the all thread to come through. How's it look, Cherish? It looks good. It's a little snug, but that'll be perfect. We just have to tap that in with the with the hammer, and we'll be good to go. All right, we got the boards back from the router. We got our pilots milled in for the bearings. All right. Right side. We gotta make sure that's cleaned out. Tap it in. Good, this one. That down. We gotta do we gotta put this on the end. Or you could do like wood like that. Whoa, what the world? Then when we did like this, it went. Let's uh do this. Caddy Wampus, but hey, it'll work. Uh, here's where we're gonna put our pulley system. We're gonna mount the motor down here so that we can shield all this from water. There we go, perfect. All right, bud, let's go cut our, uh, our pulleys here. Okay, we got our pulleys cut out. This pulley here I cut out kind of uh, has some flat edges on it. This motor came with like a worm gear on it that I just put in the vise and smushed two edges so they were flat. So when I cut this uh, center hole out, I cut two flats on it and then pushed it on there so that it won't uh, slip off or uh, you know spin. Now what we gotta figure out how to do is cut a groove in it. Do the same thing to this motor. I'm just gonna hook it up to a 12 volt power supply for now and spin it. Gonna do the same thing that we did here with the drill. I'm gonna stretch it a little tight, not, not too tight. Make sure our alignment is right, which is pretty good there. Put the pulley on the big one first, and then on that one. There we go. We might have to put a bigger pulley in here. Kind of love to see. We're gonna turn on the water here and we're gonna see what happens. I'm afraid we're gonna need a bigger uh, pulley down there. I don't know if we're gonna get our speed. This would be about the height and amount of water coming out of the tube that um, we'd be using. It's coming off a pond, so. All right, go turn the water on. Is it hot in it? Not yet. We're not gonna get quite this speed when we're down at the creek, so I think we're gonna have to make a bigger pulley. All right, so now we gotta put the pulley new pulley on. in, that we, the bigger one. The only problem is, 
we're gonna have to move this out of a little bit so that but fits in. So you don't have to spin it fast at all on the screen. Alright, let's go try the water. That works a lot better. I think we need more height on the water here. A five and a half gear definitely helps. What do you think, Ethan? creek is not very high right now over the summer so we don't really have any natural water to turn it. Once that comes back maybe we'll go ahead and uh, mount it down there and see what happens. Again thanks for watching and uh, please like and subscribe if you like it. If you don't like it then don't like and subscribe and uh, we'll catch you later. All right, come on,